uh, is the XML support in IDS version 11. The I IDS version 11 supports two types of functions. One is this gen functions which basically convert result set from a query into a XML document. Sometimes these gen XML functions can be specified simply in the projection list of select statement to make things simple. Other other functions like the gen XML query function take in the SQL query as a argument to it and simply convert uh, convert the result set into uh, into an XML document. There there is some uh, flexibility uh, that the uh, function that you can uh, use in the projection list provide. So so I'll talk about that uh, when I come to that slide. The second set of functions that IDS provides is the XPath function. So uh, when you store a XML uh, snippet or a document within the column of a IDS uh, table and you want to extract parts of the document uh, within your application, these XPath functions can extract parts of the document based on an XPath expression. XPath is a standard for the uh, specifying the pattern within the uh, XML document and uh, get to a part of the part of the XML document. So, use using this XPath expression, you can extract uh, either the XML element or the XML uh, value without the uh, surrounding XML notation. Exist node will return one or zero depend, depending on uh, whether a matching pattern exists for a specified XPath expression. So basically, you can use the exist node as a predicate with, within your uh, SQL query. IDS XML parse simply uh, returns the whole document if the document is a well formed XML, otherwise, it raises an error. Let's look at how this. Uh, functions have been integrated into IDS. Uh, Gen XML functions are uh, written uh, natively in uh, C though and uh, by the way all these functions are built into the uh, product so so you, you get, get, get these functions um, by default. So these Gen XML uh, functions are uh, uh, part of the IDS engine. The XPath extract functions are provided via XSLT and XML for C uh, processors uh, that's basically Xarad and Xerces uh, processor. So we have integrated those things into the engine so when you invoke any of these extract uh, uh, functions we invoke the methods inside the XSLT processor uh, to evaluate the XPath expression. Uh, so this is just the underneath architecture. Let's look at uh, examples of these functions. Uh, in this case, we have a gen XML function which takes uh, a list of columns as a row value, and uh, the second argument to gen XML function is the name of the uh, row element that you want to create. As you can. As see here the customer uh, the second argument is passed in as customer and that's the name we have used for the ro row element for e each row that the uh, result set produces. The values for each of the columns are uh, returned as attributes to uh, co each of the column names uh, in this case column num, f name, uh, l name, company so on and so forth. On the other hand, Gen XML query header uh, simplifies some of the work by simply taking a select statement as the second argument to it and convert uh, the result set into the uh, into XML document. Uh, the difference here is the mapping uh, from the column names into the XML element is implicit here whereas in the gen xml uh, function even though the example uh, showed it as an implicit uh, 
or the same name for the column name and the element name you can cast the row you get into a, a separate uh, custom uh, row value so so that uh, you can convert the element name into whichever that uh, that your application desires let's look at the xpath support uh, uh, so again uh, in this case book list is a column that uh, stores a xml document in this case we are extracting in the first example we are extracting the first book uh, uh, under the uh, bookstore where the bookstore id is 1234 uh, and we are extracting the uh, first book here uh, so in, in this case it's a cooking book called everyday italian so uh, similarly the second uh, function extract value returns the actual value instead of the instead of returning the va values with the xml tags so uh, in this case we are uh, extracting the last entry in the in the, in the bookstore uh, so uh, it, it's it's returning all the different va values without uh, the whole xml format in the third example we use the exist node and we look for uh, a book by author Kurt Kegel uh, in this store happens to have a book by uh, author uh, Kurt Kegel so it returns uh, uh, one for this uh, it returns one for this uh, one as a res result of a exist node and the doc id for this happens to be one as well okay i guess this is not uh, interactive from youtube so uh, you may want to comment or post questions uh, on the f forum so i'll see what i can do to answer those issues uh, here are further resources where you can find uh, more information regarding IDS uh, version 11, its features, and um, hope you enjoy using IDS version 11. Thank you very much.